drawing a circle with code. This brings back a lot of memories, memories of my fourth standard, because that's when I learned it. So I was taught coding from second standard, second grade, and my teacher uh, taught me how to like, you know, draw what's an algorithm, we had to write it, and then what's a flow chart, you have to draw it. She taught me what a CPU is, and she also taught me uh, how much it pained when she twisted my ear because I forgot to bring my textbook one day. Uh, and years later, I kind of don't remember the details of what she taught me, but I think we all remember how teachers make us feel, right, much more than uh, exactly the details of what they teach us. So in fourth standard, uh, there was this computer lab session, and I used to love my computer lab sessions because the computer lab sessions were where you could just like play and you don't need anybody to tell you whether you're right or wrong, the computer will tell you. I could see what I wanted to do and immediately see the results. So I used to love it. And the question in that particular lab day was, draw a circle with code. Now, we used to use a program called Logo at that point, a logo which is basically like a, a tiny turtle. Actually, it's a triangle that we are supposed to imagine as a turtle. And it'll draw for us. We can give it commands like go forward, turn left, not too different from the uh, artist uh, labs that we worked with. And we used to be supposed to draw a circle. Now, I knew how to draw a square, triangle, rectangle, all that I knew. Because Logo and even what we use, it uses straight lines, right? But I was supposed to draw a circle. And I knew a circle had curved lines. So I was very proud. So I was a bit of a troublemaker in class. I was like, ma'am, this is impossible. So I was very proudly telling her. She came to me with a look like I've seen you guys many times. She was like, uh, you'd go straight one step. So I'll actually go to that screen. I'll tell you what she told me because I want to do it and show you. So she was like, uh, okay, you go straight one step. I was like, okay. And then what? She said, turn one, one degree to the left or to the right, depending on what you want to do. I was like, okay, turn one step, turn left. You can't even see this, right? It'll be torn so tiny. And then she was like, do that in a loop 360 times, you will get a circle. And I was like, this is surely not going to work. But I, the good thing about computers is that you don't have to worry too much. You can just try and see what happens. That's what I wanted to do. So what was it again? She said, move forward by, in our language, it will be move forward by one step, which is like one pixel. And then turn left by one degree. Uh, let me put that, turn left by one degree. If I do just this, nothing will happen. One degree, perfect. And now what should I do? I'm so, I was supposed to loop this 360 times. Now I was very confused, okay, why 360? None of this made sense to me. And then I went in, but I tried it anyway, and I was excited to see what happens. Wait, have I put 360 in it? Okay, so moment of truth. I was sure this was not gonna work. I don't know what you think. Do you think this will work? Let's run it, okay? The person is drawing a curved line. That didn't make any sense to me, right, as you can see. And uh, I was watching, and uh, the computer drew, and it's gonna happen here as well, the computer drew a perfect circle. And now I don't know about you, it was very confusing for me. Where did this 360 come from, right? Why am I traveling one step and then one degree? And now I had two options. I could either think about this question and truly understand how this worked, or I could go to all my friends, act as if I only figured it out and show off. Which of the two do you think I picked? I obviously picked the second one. I went to every friend of mine and said, you're not getting circle, no, I will show you, come. This is how you're supposed to. They'd be like, oh, how did you figure it out? I'm like, yeah, yeah, I thought about it and I, and I figured it out. And then when they ask me, how does it work? I'm, I really don't know the answer. So I'd be like, hey, wait, wait, other students are calling me and I just leave. And uh, I eventually, of course, went home and thought about it and later I understood why. Now you may be asking, hey, why is this working exactly? Where is this number 360 coming from? Um, why should I move forward by one, turn left? Why is it one pixel? What if I make it two pixels? What if I make it, I don't know, two degrees? Will it still look like a circle? Uh, what can I change here and still get something that looks like a circle? All these are great questions that I'm not going to answer. Uh, I want you to take some time to think about why this works. So big moment for me. Uh, lots of things made sense to me because I drew this in my fourth grade. I understood geometry deeply because I understood weight. I can draw a circle with just straight lines. It just depends on how tiny the straight lines are. And this number 360, where is it coming from? Do you remember the question I left you with in the last video, which is why is the circle's complete angle 360 degrees anyway? That question and this question are connected. Why looping it 360 times? Go think about it. I've gifted you a confusing question. And the best way to learn, confusion is an amazing way to learn. So I'm sure that when you do get this, you'll be like, oh, that's why. And I don't want to rob you of that. So on that note, thanks so much for listening to uh, my story and watch me draw a circle. Uh, and I hope you figure this out soon. Bye-bye.